In this video, I'm going to show you how Einstein activity metrics works alongside Einstein activity capture. Please note for the purposes of this demo, I have already enabled this feature, set up the necessary fields, page layouts, reports, and list views beforehand. In order to use activity metrics, you need at least one paid Einstein activity capture license within your Salesforce org. More information here on Salesforce help. Once enabled, Einstein activity metrics will give you useful context related to Salesforce records and their activities. So for example, against an account, I can see when the last activity was, the last call, email, task and event, as well as how many activities have occurred today, over the last seven days, the last 30 days, for example. And these are standard Salesforce fields, which I can then target in automations or email alerts and things like that. And additionally, this brings together all of the information from the activity timeline directly on the records. If necessary, I could also add additional information into the highlight panel too, as these are native Salesforce fields. Over on the contact object, I have customized the list views to show specific fields that I'm interested in, in the context of a contact. You can see that these fields are powered by Einstein by the logo before the field name. From here, I can see if this relationship is at risk of going stale because we haven't followed up with this contact for a while. I can also see the number of activities over the last 30 days and the same number for the last seven days. Naturally, when I click into the record, I can see the full context and all of the available activity metrics. The same applies on other objects, including opportunities, which again, gives me the ability to see these metrics in the context of a particular record. As these are standard Salesforce fields, I can also run reports on these. So perhaps as a sales manager, I'm interested in leads and how active my salespeople are being with following up leads. In this case, from a report, I can see the leads that are in the system and when they were last emailed, called, when there was last an event, or when there was a task. So from here, I can easily understand who's following up with which leads, and again, which leads are at risk of going stale. Using another example, I can look at contacts by inactive days. So in this case, I've got one contact in the system and our relationship or contact with that person hasn't been inactive so far. If they were emailed yesterday, for example, then I would expect the inactive days to show that the relationship had been inactive for one day. Additionally, in the context of opportunities, I can report on other useful metrics, such as when an email was last sent against an opportunity. Again, this way I can see that if salespeople are actively following up with the opportunities and working to close deals. These are just a couple of examples of how you could use activity metrics. There are lots of different possibilities here because you are given these standard Salesforce fields, which you can then utilize in your page layouts, automations, reports, and so on. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and add any feedback in the comments. Thanks.